a while now, footballers have pretty much nailed the secrecy of transfers, as long as you don't include the recent storage dramas, they tend to not let much out the bag. Their wives, however... Mm, they're not so great. William's odds of leaving Chelsea for Arsenal spiked when his wife posted stories on Instagram telling her daughters to try and look excited about the game even though their days are numbered. Her words, not mine. She then said to her family, who were purely coincidentally dressed in all bright red jackets, we all love London, don't we? Tell me you love London. You love London, right? I think that's pretty much the biggest hint ever. I'd like to know about the conversation between William and his wife after she went viral in Brazil. Has she even been on social media since? I'd have banned her from social straight away. Has she been seen since? That was one dumb move. Or a genius one. Oh my god, they could have planned it together. I can't go. An Arsenal fan is thinking about naming his son Ozil. His wife said he could if Mesut Ozil responded on Twitter. Ozil responded. He's asked to see the birth certificate. Jamie Vardy is back to his scoring ways thanks to great advice from Pepe Reina. Meanwhile, Reina has become deeply confused about the difference between mind games and good advice. It's different. In 2012, Pepe Reina was open about how much he admired Brendan Rodgers' mind game techniques. So when he faced his team, he decided to play some mind games against them. Poorly. Prior to a penalty, Reina told Vardy to shoot straight down the middle. Vardy shot straight down the middle and scored. That's not mind games, Reina. That's just damn good advice. Tottenham have no strikers. None. They're having to play Deli Alley up front. That's the T. Floyd Mayweather has been talking about buying Newcastle United, saying it's one hell of a team. Now, uh, he's on a tour, doing loads of PR for his tour, so I don't know how much we can trust this. However, he's also been through Leicester, and he didn't say it about Leicester then, so maybe he's not just kissing ass. Quite frankly, this just reminds me of when P. Diddy said he was going to buy Crystal Palace, because he liked the name. Pep Guardiola is having a season to forget at Man City. He's lost seven Premier League games, been banned from the Champions League, and just got shushed by Bruno Fernandes. Ouch. Fernandes has almost single-handedly turned Man United's fortunes around, and as fans were starting to turn their back on Paul Pogba, it's Fernandes that's getting Pogba excited about coming back from injury. These two could have an elite partnership, and if everything goes well, Man United could be heading towards catching up with Leicester City. That's big. Okay. Tangai Ndombele was taken off at half time. He cost Tottenham 65 million pounds. And Jose Mourinho says that they don't have a midfield whilst Ndombele is in the midfield. Well, as history shows, it only goes one of two ways from here. Either we'll never see Ndombele in a Tottenham shirt again, or he's about to become your greatest player. Which is it gonna be? I'm done.